What's going on, Rainbow Six Siege fans? My name's Luke the Notable. This video is sponsored by Ubisoft. They wanted me to try the new deathmatch mode 100 times. And if you're watching this video when it's fresh, you can try Rainbow Six Siege for free until March 24th. Rainbow Six Siege is an amazing game, and this is your chance to try it out free. During the free week, you'll be able to purchase Rainbow Six Siege for up to 75% off. And if you purchase during the free week, you keep all of your progression. Make sure to check the link in the description for all the details. The new season, Demon Veil, vale, brings a new operator, Azami, and she's deadly let me tell you. You'll also be able to check out the new map with Season 7, Emerald Plain. It's beautiful. I mean, look at that. Thank you to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. Now let's breach in to game number one. So here we are in the Rainbow Six Siege Team Deathmatch mode. Let's talk about how it works. It's a match where you have a team and there will be death. In this new Team Deathmatch mode, you can choose to be any operator in the game, attacker or defender. You don't get their abilities, but you do get their guns, and let's be honest, that's just fair. You'll fight another team of operators, and the best part is if you die, you come back. And after five minutes of unyielding violence and gunfire, one team will be the victor. For game one, I chose Capitao because he's got a light machine gun, and spraying and praying is generally how I win. And yeah, in five minutes, I shot about a thousand bullets, but hey, I got some kills out of it. Six kills, nine deaths. I'll take it. It's my first game. We lost, but I gotta say, it was a close one. Game two, I decided to play the new operator, Azami. I really hope I'm saying that right but it's too late, I've already said it. I'll show you her ability later, I can't right now. It's Team Deathmatch, but I do have her guns, and ooh, they're nice. Automatic shotgun, with 30 rounds in the magazine. Need I say more? I guess I just wish I was better at the game, because most of my kills in this one were me hiding in the corner where I have tactical superiority. Look at it. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Time for Tachanka and his terrible turret and tame tree. Terrible in the sense that it kills many, many people. Oh yeah, letting big old Tachanka carry around his turret was the best idea ever. Just slap on a disc of pain and start shooting. I guarantee you they'll run away. Thanks to Lord Tachanka, this was my first game where I got more kills than deaths. We still lost, but I had a good time. And after playing just four games of Rainbow Six Siege deathmatch mode, I think I know how to sum it up pretty accurately. When you play a game of Rainbow Six Siege, in the last 30 seconds of every round, it's absolute chaos with bullets flying everywhere. And somehow Deathmatch captures that last 30 seconds of chaos perfectly for a whole five minutes. But don't just take my word for it, go try it for yourself. The game's free this week anyway. Hopped right back in game five with Mute and his SMG, but that's not gonna work against an automatic shotgun. Yeah, it's only game five, I'm still figuring out what works, but SMGs seem to be a safe bet. However, game six, I went with Glass, who has a sniper. This should be interesting. I mostly did it for the memes, I didn't think I'd do very well, but got a lot more kills than I thought I would. I was positive, and this was actually my best game yet. Maybe there is something to this sniping indoors strategy. And as the game progresses on, the map gets more and more destroyed, making sight lines longer, which definitely gives a bonus to sniper ops like Glass. Yeah, I liked him so much, I even played him in game seven as well. I found this really perfect spot for Glass on the map Villa with two long sight lines. Though I will say it can be kind of a struggle when you're not in the perfect spot. All I have is a pistol other than my sniper. Game eight, I went with the operator Jagger because he's got the best shotgun in the game. I know that's not how you say it. I'm just very, very, very incredibly funny. Oh, everyone was smoke but me, that's embarrassing. Despite not being smoke, the enemy still got the smoke, because I've got the M870 and I'm unstoppable with it. I don't even aim, I just shoot from the hip, that's all you need. We won, you're welcome team. Same strat game nine, but honestly had too much fun just destroying the whole place. Don't worry, I occasionally took a break to destroy the enemy. This was a hectic one and I got shot in the back quite a bit. We lost, but I had fun and that's all that matters. Play Blackbeard game 10 and honestly, it feels really weird to have his gun without the ballistic shield. Has me really questioning how I feel about Blackbeard in the first place without his shield. Do I really love him? Everyone always makes fun of me for liking Blackbeard, and now I think I know why. Hey man, I don't need a shield. I just found this destroyed piece of drywall. That's all I need. Hey, look at that. We won. No shield required. And now it's game 10 again. Uh, this is awkward. I said earlier I wanted to show you the new operator Azami's powers, and that's what we're doing here. So in game 10v2, I'm playing Azami, and she's good. Here you can see her deployable Kiva barriers that help you close off the map at a distance. They're helpful. They aren't indestructible, but they can funnel your enemies right where you want them, and with an automatic shotgun, that can mean easy kills. In this round, using my barriers and my shotgun, I was able to get three. I saved the day and won the round. Go Azami. Remember, you can try out Azami and all of the other operators in Rainbow Six Siege for free. 
you check the link in the description for more info. Back to deathmatch, just trying out guns I like, and I've always liked Fuse's AK. They'll never find me in the bathtub. Real gamers don't bathe. You may be wondering why I don't have optics on the AK, and that's because an AK should never have optics. Trust me, I'm from the internet. I know everything. Today I had to use my AK, but it was still a good day. We lost, but at least I got to take out the picture that looks like me. Decided to play Iana in game 12. Everyone seems to like her gun and kill me with it. I got a few kills, but mostly did pretty bad. This player's back was initially turned to me, and they still got the kill. I did have one shining moment, earning myself a double kill, but neither of the two enemies knew that I was there. No one won, and I took solace in that. Went with Nomad Game 13. She also has an AK, and you might also notice I'm on mouse and keyboard. I've been meaning to make the switch for a long time, and I felt like deathmatch might be good practice. And apparently I made the right move, because in this game I got seven kills and never died. It was the AK. It's the greatest weapon ever made. Stayed on Nomad for game 14, and again, played well. Not a perfect game, but I went eight and two. That's still very good. I'm gonna have everyone in Siege running sightless AKs. I'm still a little shaky with this mouse, but I guarantee after 100 games, I'll be frosty. Though in game 15, I decided to try more guns. Here's Rook's P90. I did okay, four kills, four deaths. Deaths, it's even at least. This is the only game in the whole 100 drops where I use the P90, if that's any indication of how I liked it. Now I'm Frost game 16, because I know for a fact I like her gun. And I'm kind of glad she doesn't ever bear traps in this mode. That would just be hectic. Played better with her gun, but nothing's touched that legendary AK game. Still trying new stuff game 17, this time Thermite Shotgun, and it didn't go well. I kind of got the hang of it near the end, but truthfully, I was all over the place with this weapon. The recoil is kind of insane. I don't think I'm going to be using that one anymore. And game 18, I'm still trying new things, this time Vigil. I've always heard people really like his gun. I didn't, but I think that's just because I got slapped this game. Oh well, hopped back on the Nomad with the AK and instantly played better. No need sight. Bullet fly straight. Oh yeah, I played great, but I did have the greatest weapon of all time. Nomad's a great operator for deathmatch because she also has this really fun 44 mag pistol, and I got a headshot there. And I'm really not sure if there's a best operator for deathmatch, but I hope by the end of these hundred I can figure that out. Though at the end of the day, it's probably just personal opinion. I don't know how many people are running around with a sightless AK Okay, but I am. I tried different guns, I just keep coming back to this one. Game 21 was simply another lovely game with Nomad's AK. Nothing too amazing happened, though I will say catching this guy off guard was funny. Seven kills, three deaths, I'm definitely getting better. Game 22 was another pretty standard game. Didn't play amazing, didn't play awful, middle of the road. On a mouse, it kind of feels like I'm starting Siege all over again. My movements are sometimes weird. But you know, if I wasn't weird, you probably wouldn't watch. Game 23, I'm playing with Maverick, another operator I don't generally play but he's got a really awesome gun, so I tried him out. It's an AR-15 chambered in 50 caliber, and I basically just sniped with it. I held down this whole section of the map pretty easily. I mean, hey, look at those sight lines. Really, any gun's gonna work on any map, but here, this one shines. So far, I've been pretty bad with shotguns on mouse and keyboard, and with the M870, that was no different. This is the map favela, a close quarters shotgunner's paradise, but I still got stomped. Oh yeah, I got a few kills, sure, but you don't want to know how many deaths. Twelve. I got twelve deaths for only four kills. It was a bad one. Went back to Maverick game 25. I liked him, I didn't lie. I played okay, could kill him if their backs were turned to me. You know, we're about the time in every 100 drops where I'm kinda starting to get it, but I'm definitely not there yet. Good news is there's a long way to go, and by the end, I got pretty good. Though game 27, I did not do that good. I was playing Tachanka and my enemies were the walls. Personally, if I see a Chanka running around destroying the map, I leave him alone. He's got his own issues. My KD was bad, but my happiness was high. Oh no, what are you doing? Don't change your controls, it's only gonna get wonkier. You know, I noticed other people were like crouching and dodging bullets really fluidly, and I wanted to join them. But that means the next couple games I'm messing with controls, and that's never good for your KD. Nothing too complicated, I moved my crouch button and turned off toggle crouch, so I'm a little more pokey. Just wanna say, pokey is probably the worst word you can say into a microphone. The p, the p, p sound, and the k of the k. Oh, that's, that needs a lot of sound treatment. I'm now realizing that there are way worse words to say into a microphone. Please don't have a contest in the comments. And yeah, I'm pretty useless. Game 30, I'm learning how to walk again. Played Capital game 31. Coolest thing I did was this nice double spray. Then I tried out Gridlock's LMG, and I think I like Caps more. The enemies were really good. Game 33, shot this guy in the back, and he still killed me. Then I played more Nomad, 6 and 5. It was all right. Got a nice double kill here with Glass, but that was about it for game 35. Played Echo game 36, did pretty well with his SMG. 
SMG in the favela, and got myself another glass double kill in game 37. Also got a double in the next one as Blackbeard. Some players wanted to run outside and I killed them both for a double game 39. Played glass game 40 and didn't get a sniper kill, I was all pistol. Started game 41 5 and 0, but ended 8 and 8, but played Cali game 42 and had a really fun time with her sniper. Back to a zombie game 43 and wrecked the favela with her shotgun, and mostly just destroyed walls in game 44, but it was exhilarating. Game 45 was a draw, just wanted to point it out, it only happened like twice. Played well game 46 with Nomad's AK, but you already know that. Some would call this a multi-kill, some would call it a quadra kill, I call it an overkill. Game 48, I fell in love with Valkyrie's gun, the MPX. Loved it so much, I kept playing her. I did in game 52, but it doesn't exist. The MPX is a submachine gun and I'm really good at controlling the recoil. Still on at game 52, though I think I could just be getting better at handling recoil in general. So Warden also has the MPX and a mustache. So I went with him and played well, because I'm good with this gun. All these games with the MPX I was feeling on. Played very notable game 54 and for the first time ever was MVP, thanks to the mustache. Though I did pretty awful game 55, and even more awful in the next one, 4 and 11. Not as horrible this time, 6 and 5. Yeah, I had a string of bad games with the MPX, so brought out the AK and got a double, almost triple near the end of this one. And wasn't a burden with the AK, game 59, I'm getting better. You know, maybe I wasn't the best shot when I started this series, but 100 drops is about practice, and practice I have. Playing Dokabi in the favela, game 61, I've always heard that her shotgun can be quite deadly. And I did the math, this is by far the worst game in all of these 100 drops. Does that mean Dokabi's shotgun is bad? No, but today I definitely didn't play well with it. Four kills, 14 deaths, and I'm almost glad that the worst game is now over. I want to point out, it would have been three kills, but I used her pistol. After that, I wanted to play an op I really enjoy, so I played Cali. I love that sniper. One shot, one kill, that's all I gotta say. Went 10 and 5 this game, that's a lot better than 4 and 14. Then I went on to get back to back 10 kill Cali games, oh yeah. This shot here was particularly good, even slowed down, you can hardly see it. They just kept coming down my hallway of death. By the end, I felt bad for them. Game 64, I tried out Ace's AK, it's the exact same as Fuse's, I don't know what I expected. Hard hitting, easy to control, but I think I still like Nomads better. Even still, I got a lot of nice shots in this game. I did tell you earlier in the video that I got good by the end. I'm really not sure what moved me to pick Oryx in game 65, but it's a decision I'll never regret. He's got the Spaz 12, a few other people do too, and it's an absolute monster. Really good damage, really low recoil, and seven shots, so needless to say, I got a lot of kills. I got a new kill record in this game, 14. I was blown away. My team lost by a few points, but if we won, I would have been solidly MVP. So after that performance, again, I played Oryx. That kind of rhymes. I didn't set any kill records this time, but I got nine, and now I bet you're wondering if I'm gonna keep up the rhyme. Oh yeah, this shotgun is fun. If you see someone with it, you better run. And yeah, now I'm done. I only got one death in game 67, and that's because I wasn't paying attention during operator selection and chose gridlock. The rest of the game, I played Nomad, and of course, never died. After this gunfight, I was left on one HP, and I would stay there for the whole rest of the game. I'm just gonna lay here. I've lost all my blood. But I can still fight. We won! <coughs> Back to Oryx game 68, absolutely wrecking the favela with the Spaz 12. My plan was to hang out in the stairwell and get as many kills as I could. In these tight quarters, nothing will save you from my shotgun. I got 12, which is good. I used to struggle to get 5. Now, of course, you all know that game 69 is always special, but this one was especially special. Again, I played Oryx in the favela and got the best game of this entire series. 24 kills. You have to understand, my previous record was only 14. This was a monster game. I just hung out in the spiral staircases and let my shotgun do all the work. Oh, halfway through I could tell it was gonna be a monumental game, so I just kept pushing. And I gotta tell you, it was so much sweeter that it was game 69. We won, I was the MVP, but hey, how could you not with 24 kills? I almost regret telling you that that was the best game, but I promise there's more good ones. This one was good, played Nomad, but nowhere near 24 kills. Still more Nomad, and I still think she's probably the best. I did just get a double kill. And here's another double kill, wow, I sure I am notable. Back to Warden, game 72. I played okay. I always think it's funny when I shoot people laying down like this. I was lazy picking operators, game 73, and got stuck with Cade, but I liked him. I just find his gun real easy to shoot, and I got myself 12 kills. Very little recoil, though I could just be handling it better these days. Like I said, I picked Cade on accident, but went with him again in game 74. And with how much practice I'm getting with Deathmatch, I'm not sure if it's the gun or if it's me. Now, you already know that no game in this series will beat game 69, but game 75 can 
came close. This time around, Cade got me 20 kills. I felt hot. And it helps when the enemies drop right down in front of you. That's convenient. I want you all to know I was pushing for a new record, but I'm kind of happy that 69 is still the best one. We won. I was MVP, but the recording cuts out before the cool end screen. Uh. Then in game 76, I played Cade again, but this time badly. I accidentally got gridlock game 77, but then hit this nice two for one and decided to stay on her. Her gun was like Cade's in that I could really control the recoil, but again, I could just be getting better. I'm not sure. Either way, went seven and one, and that's simply a good game. Anytime I can use a 50 cal, I will, and Thorn has a 50 cal Uzi. It's nice. It's quick, it hits hard, and I loved it immediately. Still, I think I love Tachanka the most, and in this match, there were two Tachankas. So by the end, the map was absolutely devastated. I didn't get many kills. I killed the map. Played Mozi, or Mozi, I'm not sure how you say it. I almost never play him, but I played him game 80. I liked his gun. So I meant to be Fuse in game 81, but chose Cap Can and ended up really liking his gun. And I had myself a phenomenal game with some phenomenal kills. Tried out his gun again game 82, and yeah, I liked it. I have used this gun before, but never on mouse and keyboard. It's just so much easier to control the recoil. Even Nomad's AK felt a lot better as I got better with mouse and keyboard. In game 83 alone, I got five separate double kills. That is insane compared to my performance game one. This double kill, you could hardly tell was a double kill. They died so fast. Yeah, and still no sight. Don't even tell me in the comments that I'm wrong, because you're wrong. Oh, they're still gonna comment. I hear them now, typing, and they sound real upset. Game 84, I went with Legion, because in the past, I've liked his shotgun. I did okay, sure. I got quite a lot of kills, but got more deaths. Went back to Thorn, game 85. I know I love that. 50 cal Uzi. All I need is a slight pull down on the mouse, and there's just no recoil. Started the game 10 and 0, and ended it 15 and 3. I was deadly. Played Thorn again, game 86, because you know she's just awesome. Also, played her in the next one. I was a little addicted. Played Alibi, game 88. A lot of people seem to use her, and use her well, and I did too. Kind of like Thorn's Uzi, Alibi's SMG is just so accurate, and the rate of fire is insane. I went 14 and 9 this game. Not a record, but definitely notable. Then I went back to Cade, game 89. I played solidly, I guess. That's how I describe myself in all these later games. I played solid. Almost never do I go super negative. Now we're on the last 10. I've come a long way, but I decided to start them with Capital. That's how I started this video. I didn't play amazing, but I did have a better KD than game one. Game one, I went six and nine. Game 90, I went six and four. There's something there. And playing with good old Capital gave me the great idea of playing with only my favorite operators for the last 10. Who do you think I'm gonna pick? Game 91, I played Cali. Just wanna shout out that sniper. It's fun. Though most of this game, I will say I used her pistol, which is still pretty good. The enemies were simply just smart. They knew not to come down my hallway of death. Still won, nine kills, five deaths. Played well. You gotta know I was gonna choose Oryx. The Spaz 12 might be my new favorite shotgun. Tore up the favela, didn't even need to aim. It wasn't a record breaker, mostly because the enemy team was just good. Despite my 15 kills and triple kill here, my team still got crushed by 20 points, but it was a fun one. I played Thor in game 93. I already told you I love her Uzi. Got a really cool two for one, even zoomed in and slowed down. You can't really tell what happened. And then a bunch of other kills, because you know I'm shooting that 50 cal. Then I played Warden game 94, mostly for his mustache. Oh yeah, uh, uh, his gun's good too, I guess. Then I went with Cade game 95. I think it's funny I picked him on accident and ended up really liking him. I played exceptionally well, but my team did not follow. If we did win, I would have been solidly MVP. It was quite a performance. We didn't win, but still. Gotta shout out my man Cade. Played a zombie game 96 and honestly thought I might beat the kill record in this one. All I gotta say is automatic shotgun in the favela. That should be illegal. By the end, I had 19 kills. Five off the record, but still a monster game. Try out a zombie for yourself. I guarantee you'll like her. I also want to give a shout out to Glaz. I was really surprised by how good the snipers are in deathmatch. When I first chose Glaz, I thought it was gonna go terrible, but it didn't go terrible. Wow. I didn't drop 20 kill games as the snipers, but still had a lot of fun. Somehow I think the best clip in this one though is me using my pistol. That was kind of clean. I played a zombie again game 98 because she has Cap Can's gun and I wanted to give her a shout out for that. Now I think nine times out of 10, I probably picked the automatic shotgun because duh. However, I did have a lot of success with this particular gun and it's cool that a zombie has it. Got myself 11 kills in this one like it was nothing. Game 99, I played Tachanka because I want to give a public service announcement. If you see a Tachanka destroying the map in a game of deathmatch, just leave him alone. He doesn't care about you. He just cares about destruction. And if you don't think destroying walls with a big massive gun is fun, then you obviously just haven't tried it. So please, if you see a Tachanka firing at the ground, think before you shoot. Nothing about this is excessive. I wish I had four more Tachankas on my team. Hey, we won, and I helped the most. Oh, and of course you knew, game 100, I was going with Nomad and her AK. I definitely turned on my pro gamer flow for game 100. I was unstoppable. I was determined to get MVP for
for Game 100, because you know that would just be cool. In Game 100, with a sightless AK, your boy got 16 kills. I felt notable, won the match, and was MVP of Game 100. I can't think of a better ending. At the end of all of these games, if you're wondering if I got better, I have some math to prove it. In my first 50 games, I had 16 wins with a kill-death ratio of 1.05. But in the second 50 games, I had 30 wins and a 1.44 KD, so I definitely got better. And if you want to get better, or even just try Rainbow Six Siege, remember, this is the perfect time. You can play for free until March 24th. And you can purchase Rainbow Six Siege for up to 75% off. That's quite a notable deal. Remember, check that link in the description for all of the details. Get your hands on a zombie's shotgun and the new map Emerald Plain in Season 7, Demon Vale. Once again, huge thank you to Ubisoft for sponsoring this video. Thank you for watching. Stay notable. I'll see you in the next one.